Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Shreyashi and I'm a software engineer by profession and I like to make videos on skincare, travel, lifestyle and food. So for today's video, I have something for all the men out there and um, we have been talking excessively about skincare, about how to take care of your face and everything. But I feel all the things that I've shared with you previously work exactly the way for any gender whatsoever. It doesn't matter if you're a male, if you're a female, if you're a non-binary, it works exactly the same. So I would still go ahead and recap and tell you what all you should use. Of course, there's also a lot of our males around us have beards also. And I feel we should also address the problem that they face with their beards. So, so I will share all those things that how to take care of beard, of your skin beneath your beards. And um, so stay tuned to the end and uh, yeah, let's get started. Of course, any skincare routine starts with cleansing your face. So for cleansing your face, I would highly recommend you to use a cleanser. A lot of people get confused between what a cleanser is and what a face wash is. Cleanser and face wash are essentially one and the same thing. They are not different. Face wash is something that you use to wash your face. So is cleanser, it's just face cleanser. It's just two terms for the same product. So for washing your face, you should use a cleanser which suits your skin type. For example, for me, a Cetaphil cleanser is really nice. Again, as I said, if even if you're a male, female, non-binary, your skin type is what you have to determine first. So if you have dry skin, then you should go for a gentle skin cleanser which is meant for your dry skin and it has hyaluronic acid or glycerin or you know humectants that you can put up onto your skin so that they help you out with providing your skin with a lot of moisture but if you have a oily acne prone skin then uh, i would recommend you to use something which is which has salicylic acid in it or benzoyl peroxide in it these are the substances that you should look out for in your cleanser one really good one for your oily acne prone skin is your you have your minimalist salicylic acid based face wash which has I think 1% or 2% or something like that. Then you also have your Dermaco salicylic acid based cleanser. And for dry skin types apart from your trusted set of fit, you can use a Cosrx pH balancing cleanser which is also very hydrating. And just look, look for stuff which is hydrating. That is what I will say and uh, you know start cleansing your face day and night every day and in the morning and night okay the second thing for uh, establishing a skincare routine for men is moisturization okay i use this one from la mer this is and i'm not saying that you have to use la mer you can use any moisturizer i i think i've also talked about the nivea one that i use and um, again the moisturizer should be based upon your skin type this one is very hydrating. It really gives a lot of hydration and glow for uh, my skin type, for my dry skin type. Look for something which is hydrating, which is moisturizing, which has uh, maybe glycerin in it. And uh, also for oily acne prone skin, the Episoft one is a cult favorite. It's a very amazing moisturizer for your acne prone skin. It doesn't break you out. And there's a, a big myth around using moisturizer for your oily skin. You know, the myth that they say is that since your skin is already producing enough oil, you don't really need moisturization. And you also tend to feel if you have oily skin, you also tend to feel that your skin doesn't uh, need that extra boost of hydration. But that's a myth because if you are not using a moisturizer on your face, even on your oily face, oily acne prone face, your skin in order to compensate that lost moisturization will produce more sebum it will produce more oil and that will not be good for you because it will lead to more acne it will lead to more clogging of your pores so even if you have oily skin use a moisturizer you can use the episoft one and if you feel like that the moisturizers that you use are very like kind of uh, uh, heavy on your face you can go for a gel based moisturizer especially in your summer's time there are gel based moisturizer from Believe. This is an amazing one from Believe. And uh, you can also use the Neutrogena water based cleanser, water based moisturizer. Then there is a Clinique Moisture Surge. These are all gel based moisturizers which can, which will, are really good for your 
oily skin and even for dry skin these are really good because they provide and instant hydration especially in summer times okay for winter times for dry skin people i would recommend going for a heavy moisturizer um but uh, yeah for winter times you can go ahead with this there is also another one from keels i love this their ultra rich face cream which has worked amazing for me as well all right then the last thing and non negotiable your sunscreen this one is from beauty of jojion you've seen this enough on my previous videos what you'll want to look for in a sunscreen is it is a broad spectrum that means it protects you from both uva and uvb rays it is spf 30 plus and i would definitely recommend you to go for pa 4 pluses because that's what i look for in my sunscreens and uh, you can use any sunscreen again suiting to your skin sometimes a lot of people are very sensitive to uh, chemical sunscreen especially their skin so in that scenario you can go for <clears throat> physical sunscreens which have zinc oxide titanium dioxide and uh, they really suit for your um, sensitive skin but if you can tolerate chemical sunscreens well and good if you can go for physical sunscreens well and good or hybrid sunscreen so there are three sunscreens already discussed in my sunscreens video go check that out and uh, yeah any any of these sunscreens but you have to apply a sunscreen because it's a non negotiable and uh, yeah these three things like a cleanser a moisturizer and your sunscreen is what you should start incorporating as a man into your routine if you are not already using or doing that and then we come on to specific treatments right so if you are a man if you are a teenager apart from that i would also like you to introduce like a exfoliation process in your day uh, routine which is done weekly twice so when you are exfoliating you are getting rid of your dead skin cells and if you have accumulated a lot of dead skin cells over the period of time you will get flaky skin you will get pimples breakouts and so many more things so please exfoliate now the exfoliation will also depend upon your skin type if you have a lot of acne and if your skin is prone to breaking out then you should go for something which has salicylic acid this one from polar choice is really really nice and the other one that i usually go for for dry skin is your glycolic acid this one is from pixi glow basically your aha so this one is a bha beta hydroxy acid good for acne and this one so it cleans out your pores it removes all the gunk from your pores it just removes everything and this one is your glycolic acid then you have mandelic acid then you have lactic acid good for evening out the skin tone they also go in deeper and then they help out with the skin's overall texture improvement and uh, it also like gently exfoliates it's not harsh like a physical scrub so please don't use like harsh physical scrubs use a chemical scrub and uh, yeah so then comes vitamin c if you want like something if you are suffering from pigmentation if you are suffering from uneven skin tone if you are su suffering from dull skin then you can go for a vitamin c serum although this is also a must in my skincare routine that is my choice but if you don't want it it's not a necessary ingredient to add but if you are suffering from all the things that i just listed you can start using a vitamin c serum start start low you can go for this clair clairs one which is 5% of uh, vitamin c and then from there on you can build up and yeah of course if you are in your 30s if you are looking for some anti aging ritual to incorporate or ingredient to incorporate into your routine definitely definitely start using a retinol add retinol into your skin talk to your dermatologist about it see what percentage do they recommend and then move on from there but if you are looking for something which is very low in percentage and something that you can just start on to on its own then you can go for this ordinary uh, retinol which is a really nice and affordable retinol available in the market then also there is this uh, murad one but this is quite expensive so i would not uh recommend you to jump into it but another one which is a very cult favorite and really nice retinol is this one from ole uh ole is affordable it's a good starter point um so yeah you can definitely incorporate that into your routine now coming on to your uh, men with beard and uh, you have like whole of your this lower 
portion covered, right? Your skin is exposed in the upper portion, but your lower portion is covered and you feel like maybe you don't need anything over there. But all of these products that you're applying onto your this part should be going in here as well. So when your face is covered with beard and if you're not going to cleanse it properly, if you're not going to moisturize it properly, it is your skin is going to flake. And, uh, you know, they also recommend that you can just shampoo your beard. That is something, one thing that you can do. Or you can use your regular cleanser onto your beard as well. And uh, if you're not going to clean it, if you're not going to exfoliate, yeah, exfoliation is really important for skin and underneath your beard because otherwise you will see dandruff, right? Because your skin is chipping off, your skin is coming out, it's flaking. So definitely exfoliate your skin beneath your beard. And uh, some people tend to use beard oil for moisturization over in this part. That is completely up to you. You can use like a regular moisturizer. But if you feel that it's piling up, you know, sometimes it gets into your hair and you see like the white stuff piling. But then definitely if you don't want to use a moisturizer, you can use a beard oil under, underneath the, for the skin underneath your whiskers. And uh, yeah, and if you're thinking that your hair will protect your skin underneath from sun, your, my friend, you're absolutely wrong. It doesn't happen. So you have to have to use sunscreen everywhere over your over your on your neck everywhere the sunscreen has to be used all of these things have to be used onto your neck as i always say so yeah for taking care of your beard these are the things that you should follow of course cleanse it either with a cleanser or shampoo it off moisturize it with your moisturizer regular or your beard oil if you want and protect it and of course exfoliate it because otherwise you'll see like white stuff onto your beard. That is, they'll call it dandruff, but it's just your skin shedding because it's not properly exfoliated and all the dead skin cells have accumulated over there. So yeah, that was it. That was a very uh, short routine that you can start incorporating as a man into your life and your skin will definitely thank you because your skin will glow. So just take care of your skin, do the little steps that you can do and skin will definitely thank you later. So yeah, that was it. That was a very small routine that I shared and I hope you enjoyed it. All the males out there who are watching this video, please like, share and subscribe and comment if you have any questions and I'd be happy to help. I will see you next time. Until then, bye.